Protesters are out in full force at the state house ahead of a vote on a major piece of legislation. The Senate Judiciary Committee is taking up a bill that would guarantee women a right to an abortion under Rhode Island state law. The protests aren't just at the state house either. Earlier this morning, this was the scene at the Smithfield home of Senator Stephen Archambault. Protesters were dressed as handmaids from the TV series The Handmaid's Tale. The show is about a society that puts women into servitude. And yesterday, Archambault announced he won't support the current version of the legislation because he thinks it's too broad. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live at the State House where the hearing on this bill is just getting underway. Steph, what's it like there now? Well, the senators on the Judiciary Committee just filed into the hearing room about a moment ago. We have a large number of folks standing outside the hearing room here on the third floor. Uh, most of them are pro-choice folks. They were chanting, our body, our choice, as the senators filed into that hearing where they are about to take very consequential votes on two abortion rights bills. There's also plenty of pro-life folks packing the State House. They're in the rotunda. They're in the hearing room. They're outside the hearing room. They're lined up all over the place. Folks, um, obviously, this is one of the largest bills of the session here. As we, as we reported um, last night, Senator Stephen Archambault announced that he will not be voting in support of these bills. He was believed to be the swing vote in the committee. And so it's looking as though they don't have the votes for the bills to pass. And the bills, I should remind you, would uh, codify abortion rights into Rhode Island law. Uh, but Archambault believes it goes a little too far when it allows exceptions after fetal viability for the the life and health of the mother. He tells me he wants it to be more specific, saying there can be exceptions for the health of the mother if there is a risk of grave impairment of her health. And so that's why he's voting against it. I just caught up with the chairwoman of the Judiciary Committee before the vote to get her thoughts. I think it's very clear that it's, you know, it's been dividing our country, it's been dividing our state, um, it's divided our chamber to an extent, and, and, you know, perhaps even our committee room this afternoon. Um, we need to let the committee process continue. We've done a lot of work. Um, I can say for myself, we've done a lot of work to try and get us, ourselves to a place where we could um, agree on some language and have some compromise, and it seems as though, you know, we're not there at this point. And so she wouldn't say one way or another if she thinks the bill is certain to die here in committee. There are a few different options of ways that the bill could be salvaged. First of all, some all members of the leadership can vote in the committee, even if they're not a member. But we already know that Senate President Ruggiero says he will not vote in the committee. Also, the majority leader, Michael McCaffrey, just told me he will not vote in the committee. There are other options potentially for this bill to make it to the floor uh, if it doesn't pass here in committee. But right now we are looking at an extremely consequential vote taking place right now. I'm going to get back in there and we will have an update for you later here on WPRI 12. Live at the State House, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.